Now, who might be particularly delighted with the timing of the election announcement? Paula Venels mm -hmm. from the post office, because she was up uh, get, um, in the inquiry and it blasted her off the front pages and she would have got an absolute shellacking. That's right, former post office head honcho and national sweetheart, Paula Venels. <laughs> <laughs> she cried four times for herself. It was a really disgraceful performance. And I think, yeah, it was a poor one. <laughs> she said things like, I didn't know that they were prosecuting these people um, in, you know, when I took over. And you think, that, that, that just isn't true. It's all lies. I mean, she is now in the inquiry trying to blame her colleagues, which is <laughs> the entire point of the inquiry, is that she's already blamed people who didn't do it in an attempt <laughs> to cover herself, and now she's doing it again. I also just don't understand how you can come and take over an organisation where suddenly, out of nowhere, after a new computer system comes in, one in 12 people at work from you mm. has got their hands in the till and you never previously noticed, even though they worked for you for 30 years before that. And you work for the Tory party. I know! <laughs> right? <laughs> but if what is happening is that the amount of money that you claim they've stolen is returned to the post office and then you take it out as a bonus, which they did, that's straightforward theft. Um... I was going to call it corruption. <laughs> that's worse than that. It's a worse than corruption, yeah. OK.